Bertha to press it on the podio. Shorter than last year's edition with a gentle southwesterly wind to the start line. Next last year. Hey guys, Dwayne here. I just wanted to share with you a quick read I've been checking out lately. It's called Never Eat Alone by Keith Ferrazzi. One of the chapters that I'm reading right now is called Build It Before You Need It. And an opening quote from the book is to build a community of those you love and who love you. And that's by Mitch Album. And I think what that means is to not go out and find a new environment but to continue working on the one that you already have and building that ecosystem. Um, that'll bring you closer to your successes. I think that'll also keep you persistent. You have to stay persistent, of course, and just continue working on it, whether it be your business, anything, no matter what. Further in the chapter, he goes on to talk about relationships, and he says to think of your relationships with your friends, family, and associates as a garden. When you take a stroll through the garden, what are some of the things you're going to see? Usually you'll see fresh cut grass, you'll see, um, maybe some beautiful flowers that are really pretty looking and everything but what you really want he says is the overgrown jungle I call that the wild plants and those are the ones that are the unknown the ones that you don't know anything about that you really want to dive into and build a relationship around so build your connections and continue to stay persistent in finding those connections I'm gonna make a quick smoothie this is not ripe but this is it's Ecuadorian banana actually. These are great. Organic. Apple. Ginger. Half grapefruit. It's Wind going in or oh, crosswind. Super late this morning. I'm trying to get into the shop early that way I can leave on time today. I'm supposed to get some work done. I have a few deadlines I have to meet. So it's raining. Well, it looks like it just started. I see some rain clouds up ahead. Check that out. Got some rain clouds up ahead. So I'm gonna be on my bike doing these videos for like pretty much 95% of the time. So get used to me either on this bike or uh, my other two bikes. Lawn mower sounds, those are the typical sounds. Morning! She was cool. So we got a little rain and some sun. Check out those clouds though, those are sick. Beautiful day out, 57 degrees is the high. Not bad for spring, looks like it is actually spring this time. April showers brings many flowers. Whoa, that was a bad move. So I didn't get a chance to make any lunch this morning. So I'm going to have to stop at the bank and grab some cash for lunch. That is awesome, you got solar panels on that house right there. I didn't think that was really common around here. I mean, I've seen about maybe three houses so far along the side of my route when commuting with solar panels on the roof. But uh, I think that's great, you know? I bet my money on the sun. These strangers that I encounter on the street, they probably just think I'm like weird. I must have said hello to like three people already. But I mean, I don't know. I think kindness is a virtue that's like been instilled on me since I was a child. So I, I just continue to stay kind and I think 
that gets you really, really far. All right, so how to train on your bike when you're not riding or racing. Spin. I usually try to keep a high cadence. This way, I can work my legs. Yeah, we do exist. We are here too. And we have the right to ride on these roads. Just like you have the right to drive on them. Let our life some things in her jewelry box. And she's wearing down by the rings. Taking the compliments meant for me. And I know I think I'll miss them. At least there's proof of my existence. A captive little soldier. Alright guys, got some money. That should cover my lunch and other necessities that I may need, which aren't very much. I live very low beyond my means. <laughs> See the cool Toyota that's gonna pass? I love it, man. They remind me of Legos. Check it out. You see that? Sick, man. guys so I'm just about ready to go into my dentist appointment I had to walk here just a couple blocks from where I live so not so bad but let's see what the damage is gonna be Hello. I called uh, earlier about the emergency appointment oh sure how are you doing today good all right, so I checked in. I'm gonna get my camera in there because I think it'd be fun, but I need to get the sound off the GoPro. So, one second. I'm gonna have to get my uh, filling that I had in here. I think it got fell out. I was chewing it so far. All right, so I just got out of the dentist. If my mouth looks weird, it's because I just got my whole situation fixed up. But it's feeling a little awkward. Much better than it did before though. So I'm pretty psyched that uh, I didn't have to do the big surgery or see a specialist. I just had to handle this whole cavity and uh, filling situation. So I'm going back to the spot and I will see you all soon. <laughs> 